systems in the computer so we have so in number system usually a number system consists of a set of values which means a set of numbers okay in each number system there are different set of numbers and there are mainly four types of number system we have four types decimal number system binary number system octal number system hexadecimal number system so we have this four types of number system now we will study each of the number system in this class we are learning about two number system that is decimal number system and binary number system so when we go to decimal number system it's the most commonly used number system okay what we are using now like counting okay uh, like taking attendance roll numbers these all things numbers we are using they are from decimal number system so it's the most commonly used number system example the number system we are commonly used for counting is decimal number system it consists of usually 10 digits 0 to 9 just count it yourself 0 to 9 10 digits it have okay like in a calculator you can see number keypad or in a uh, mobile calculator you can see number keypad in a laptop or a computer keyboard you can see number keypad okay so that consists of 0 to 9 digits okay so the base of the decimal system is 10 so it since it cons hence it consists of 10 digits its base is 10 decimal numbers base is 10 so any quantity greater than 9 is represented by a contribution of two or more digits you know that so if you have if you need to write uh, 92 you have to take 9 and 2 from the 0 to 9 okay so examples are given negative numbers like 82 minus 82 minus 896 52 92 many examples you know that all the numbers we are using okay these all are part of decimal number system so the main things to remember it consists of 10 digits 0 to 9 10 digits 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 digits so and the hence there is 10 digit that's why the base of the decimal number system is 10 okay yeah next one is the binary number system okay so binary by by means two binary number system means it consists of two digits okay only two digits that is zero and one only these two digits are there zero and one hence the base is two so two digits that's why the base is two for decimal 10 digit that's where the base is 10 so the language understood by the computer is binary language which is represented by these two digits so there's a language called binary language the computer only understands binary language whatever things we are typing whatever things we are giving as an instruction like select new folder these all things we are seeing it as english language right we can see it as English language, but in the computer memory, it is represented using zeros and ones, only zeros and ones, no other numbers, no other things. Computer only knows zero and one. Computer doesn't know uh, what is, where is English grammar or anything. Okay, whatever we are giving, numbers, even if it is number, even if it is an alphabet, digit, whatever, symbol, anything that is converted to this number here we are going to learn about decimal numbers so decimal numbers already we learned we are using numbers from 0 to 9 if you count you will get 10 digits okay that means the base of the decimal number is 10 okay now if you are like writing a number 738 okay 
so you know that this is 738 so how you are getting that number that particular number so here 8 is in the ones position that is base is 10 so 10 raised to 0 is the positional value of 8 next 10 raised to 1 is the positional value of 3 10 raised to 2 is the positional value of 7 so if you have 4 digits it will come 10 raised to 3 like that it will go now if you take if you study the exponent and all any number raised to 0 is equal to 1 any number raised to 0 is equal to 1 so so if we will take the ones place 8 8 into 10 raised to 0 is equal to 8 into so 10 raised to 0 means it is 1 here it is 1 according to this so 8 into 1 is equal to 8 now we will go to the second digit that is 3 3 into 10 raised to 1 is equal to 10 raised to 1 is equal to 10 10 raised to 1 is equal to 10 so 3 into 10 30 now 7th 7 into 10 raised to 2 is equal to what so 10 raised to 2 means 10 into 10 equal to 100 okay 10 into 10 is equal to 100 so 7 into 100 equal to 700 so you got three values okay you got three values here 738 okay so if you take that together 700 plus 30 plus 8 if you add it together you will get 738 so that's how a decimal number is working with its positional values in cooperation with its positional values okay so for decimal numbers already the there are 10 digits 0 to 9 and the base is 10 okay so for that that's why we took this positional values as 10 raised to 0 so this is as you know this is the ones place 10 tens place hundredth place okay you already studied that in max so according to this we are taking the value 8 into 10 raised to 0 3 into 10 raised to 1 7 into 10 raised to 2 now this is an extra thing maybe you studied in mathematics any number rise to rise to the power of 0 is 1 okay sorry any number rise to 0 is 1 now 10 raised to 1 is equal to 10 that means 10 10 raised to 2 means 2 times 10 10 into 10 okay 10 into 10 10 times 10 so that is 100 okay so for an example I will show just for your knowledge about exponent if it is 2 raised to 3 3 that means 2 into 2 into 2 3 times 2 so 2 into 2 4 4 into 2 8 so 2 raised to 3 is 8 okay this way any number you can do so this is decimal number So next is binary number system so for binary number system we are using two digits only two digits okay that is zero and one okay zeros and ones two digits two digits so the binary number system is only number system that is understood by a computer the number system used in a computer every computer is binary number system so it consists of only two digits zeros and ones okay it consists of all other things the um, english language you are typing in a computer the numbers you are typing in a computer these all things are converted to this number system okay so how this co conversion is possible that we will talk in the uh, later class so now a simple conversion we will study which means whatever decimal numbers you are giving for example you are giving a number 54 how that is converting okay th this we will study for the next topic now what is the uh, binary number system means it contains zeros and ones okay now for example in a computer there is in the computer memory there is a number represented as 101 okay 
so for a decimal number this is 101 you know but in binary this is not 101 okay that's we will study how it is possible that we will study okay so this is the position of zero this is a position of one this is a position of two okay so that's how the raised to position is coming so the base is two okay here two digits so base equal to two so same way we did in the decimal number we did the 10 raised to zero 10 raised to one thing same thing here we have to do with two so here it comes as two raised to zero two raised to one two raised to two okay understood yeah so here we will take each places that is one la, that each positions we will take first one so one into two raised to zero next zero into two raised to one next one into two raised to two so these are the numbers we are getting okay now we have to do the multiplication so already i said any number raised to zero is is any number raised to zero is one so two raised to zero equal to one now two raised to one two raised to one means one time two 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 raised to two next one two into two that is four okay so this is the calculation we need so here what will come one into one equal to one zero into two raised to one so two raised to one is already two that into zero means any number into zero zero okay now one into two raised to two so two raised to two is four we got so this one one into four is equal to four now easy thing four plus zero plus one four plus zero plus one is equal to five so in decimal number system it is five but when it comes to computer memory it is one zero one so when you type five in the number system five in the computer actually in the computer memory it is storing as one zero one okay so let's go to one more example for understanding that So let us go to one more example for that. A binary number can be any number. Uh, for example, one one zero. Okay, it's one one zero. We need to find out the decimal corresponding number. Okay, so as already said, zero position, one position two. So if one more number is there, let us say uh, give one more number. Okay, one. So the number is this one. So three. So we got four digits here and positional value we took okay now what will happen we have to write 2 raised to 0 2 raised to 1 2 raised to 2 2 raised to 3 for each digits we did that now we will do the calculation so first 0 0 into 2 raised to 0 1 into 2 raised to 1 1 into 2 raised to 2 1 into 2 raised to 3 this is the each value okay now we have to multiply it and find the addition okay find the sum okay so here it will come like 2 raised to 0 is equal to 1 any number raised to 0 1 we we used 2 because the base of the number is 2 base of the binary system is 2 okay 2 raised to 0 2 raised to 1 is equal to 2 2 raised to 2 is equal to 2 into 2, 4. 2 raised to 3 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2, 8. Okay. Now, we will do that here. 0 into 1, 0. 1 into 2. 1 into 2 is equal to 2. 1 into 4. 1 into 4 is equal to 4. 
1 into 8 1 into 8 is equal to 8 now we got the numbers here so let's take the numbers 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 0 8 plus 2 10 10 plus 4 14 so 14 in decimal this is decimal when it converted to binary it can be read as 1110 so anything you are giving inside a computer like if you type a key uh, like a b c d also it is representing at numbers in the computer that uh, i will show you that how it is happening in the next class so this is binary number system